Hi, everyone. So imagine you're a macroeconomist temporarily, uh, and you're interested in studying the kind of long-term transition to uh, sustainable energy from fossil fuels. You tend to get two types of questions. One, the erroneous, how do you pay for it? You get it all the time. And the other one, the more reasonable critique from physicists and engineers of energy is a complicated thing, and you need to take that into account. So my dissertation research is on this really easy to say stock flow consistent input output model, <laughs> which has an equally inscrutable acronym. But really what it does is it takes a kind of monetary uh, accounting framework for macroeconomics, the stock flow consistency, and merges it with uh, a dynamic input output analysis. So at the very fastest, stock flow consistency is kind of a way to um, deal with the transactions in a monetary economy. So you have your representations of household purchases from firms and what have you. Uh, and input-output analysis relates the interdependencies of firms towards the final demand output. So these things are both kind of accounting frameworks, and they have similar information in them. And so you can, in a sense, put the two together. You get a whole pile of equations. You solve these down for a couple of nice things called differential equations, and you do some scenario analysis. But really, it's a method to put together the monetary and the potentially uh, useful physical information of energy systems. So why do we care about abstract mathematical models like this? Well, we know going into the Anthropocene, or more hopefully the Ecozoic, we have this kind of immense uncertain future. And these models give us a sort of set of rules that we might be able to understand that by. So I've put up a simple example here of a simulation I did, I think, just last week, which uh, shows an economy evolving to a steady state, but still having uh, finance and loans and positive interest rate. This is a controversial result. Uh, in fact, there's discussions in this room about this exact thing. But you can take a model like this, you can tweak its parameters somewhat, and you can see that this result disappears. So when we look at these kind of things, they give us a sort of way to test our understanding of the future under uh, different possible sets of parameters or different ideas about energy systems. But it also allows us to kind of answer those more fundamental questions of how do we pay for it? Well, you can address that. and really can we transition in a monetary economy to uh, an energy one, and we can capture that in there. Anyway, it's a bit of a rambly explanation, but uh, my dissertation is basically working out the uh, mathematics and simulations of this stock flow consistent input output model. Thank you.